And it's not about just being angry for the sake of anger. And it's not about wallowing it. I, I actually, um, this, this week, caught myself lamenting, wailing, not physically, but in my heart. And I recognized what happened in that moment, listen, is I let the pain take me on a walk. I didn't walk through the pain myself. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean this, that sometimes what can happen is in the pain, in the hopelessness, we let the pain tell us a story about where it's gonna lead us to. That's the pain taking you for a walk. We're supposed to walk through it. Well, it's bad now, it's only gonna get worse. You think that was silly that you said. You think, they think that. They think worse than that. Who knows the battlefield is in the mind. And so we have to take control and we turn the pain and rather than let the pain walk us, we then walk through the pain and we share that with God and we bring it to God. And then this is what we do. We turn the pain, the questions, into a request. Request. 